everybody welcome back to Farcon Technologies um, so in today's video I'll, I'll be going over um, this packet tracer um, you know I've been on this part of the CCNA book that deals with uh, the wireless connections and that and it's been a rough journey I'm not gonna lie it's been pretty confusing um, you know, um, when it comes to like LANs, local area networks, I mean, they, they're pretty easy, it's, it's, it's not rocket science or anything, but when it comes to the wireless LAN networks, it gets a little bit harder and a little bit more confusing. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, um, it, the PCs, you know, they gotta go through the wireless, to the APs, you know, or the router, like, or the routers, you know. Um, and then they will need they need to connect to the wired network and all that good stuff um so yeah um finally i'm done with those chapters um you know trying to get some hands-on experience in and thought i would share the journey with you guys so let's go ahead and um get started so i'll be working on the packet tracer 4422 um Okay, so in this activity, you will configure a Linksys wireless router, okay, allowing for remote access from PCs as well as wireless connectivity with the WPA2 security. Um, you will manually configure PC wireless connectivity by entering the Linksys's router SSID and password. Okay, um, so a little bit of information about WPA2. So WPA2, um, it can it can be um, it can be used for enterprise or it can be used for uh, just you know personal network, right? For the personal networks, uh, you would be using the pre-shared key um, authentication mechanism, uh, whereas with um, the enterprise 802.1x also using also known as uh, extended authentication protocol there you go EAP um, and if any of you have read the chapters you know for the CCNA you would know or any of you have worked in the networking um, you would know that within that um, there's multiple other authentication protocols that follow the 802.1x um, outline for a wireless authentication um, you know there is P there is leap there is EAP fast and all of those things um, so for this one it uh, looks like it's gonna be personal so we're gonna be doing the pre-shared key um, so the WPA2, um, it also uses for, um, you know, wireless privacy and in uh, integrity. Um, it uses the advanced encryption standard counter for, uh, uh, also known as, you know, the shortened version IES for encryption mechanism and the um, cipher block chaining message authentication code or CBC Mac um, is used as the message um, integrity check or uh, MIC also known as Michael for some reason I have no clue um, but yeah so let's go ahead and get into this here so connect to WRS2 internet interface on oh connect oh okay cool 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 Alrighty, let's go ahead and do that. So these are okay. Um, that's a router, correct? Okay. All right. Then we'll just use straight through. So we'll be connecting W07 to uh, a switch. Internet interface. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I move the device? All right. My OCD kicked in a little bit there, but um, click R WRS2. All right. GUI tab, okay. Oh, sorry. Let me just show you. So you would just click, oh, well, it already opens that GUI tab, but 
you would just click here in the GUI tab. Uh, set the internet connection type to static IT uh, IP. Uh, there we go. Um, configure the IP addressing according to um, the table. Let's also see what type of we have. So we have okay PPP over Ethernet, and we have automatic configuration which is DHCP. But we're going with the static IP. All right. So for that, we'll be using S72. Seventeen eighty eight twenty five. The one seventy two seventeen eighty eight twenty five for the subnet mask will be two five dot two five two five five dot two five five. Okay, and then for DNS, oh, that's the default. Never mind. That's it's going to be one seventy two seventeen eighty eight one. Seventeen eighty eight one. Okay. Alrighty. Scroll down to network setup for the router IP option. Wait, did I just set it here? Oh, that's internet setup. But it's hold on. For the router IP option, set the IP address. 172, 17, 40. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Not sure what is going on here, but I'm sure we'll find out as we go. 40, and, uh, okay, 41, 255, 255, 255, 0. Oh, what's going on? DHCP enabled. So I think, from my understanding, but don't take my word for it, I'll be researching it later on, but um, I think this is the internet facing interface here. And then um, this one is probably will be the default gateway for um, the PC3. I think it will be the default gateway for PC3 and um, these IP addresses are going to be allocated to the PCs, I'm guessing, which I'm not sure what is going on here, um, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on. Enable DHCP, and then at the bottom of the screen, just go ahead and click Save Settings. Oh, there we go. Okay, it changed. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, this is the PC-facing um, interface here and this is the network interface here from my understanding right um, I'm still gonna go ahead and look into that um, at the top of the window click wireless set the network mode to wireless N only and change the SSID to WRS. Disable SSID. Oh, we're gonna disable that. And safe setting. Okay, I guess we'll be. Um, it's not gonna be broadcasting, I guess. So we'll just need to go ahead and um, automatically find it actually. And as you can see here, we have 11 channels. But as we already know, uh, from these 11 channels, unfortunately, we can only use three, like, you know, at the same time, pretty much because otherwise they will be overlapping. And the three that is recommended is one and six and 11. So we'll just go ahead and use one. Radio band auto enable. Okay, we're gonna disable the broadcast. So the uh, SSID is not gonna be being broadcast. It's like a hidden network. Go ahead and save settings. Configure wireless access security. So we'll go ahead and click on security. Hold on, wireless. 
Yes, so okay. Oh, there we go, wireless security here. And then we're gonna be using WT WPA personal. Um from disabled Okay, hold up. So okay, yeah, so disabled to WP personal encryption obviously IAP CKIP is not recommended to be used. It was only used at the time that web was still being used. Um, so passphrase is Cisco one two three scroll to the bottom. Hello. Okay, cool. Okay, configure PS3. I guess that is it. I'm guessing we could also oh, okay, not supported by this device. Okay, cool. Um, these are the ports. These are some advanced wireless settings. Uh, okay, we got the firewall thing going. We got filters, web filters, obviously. Applications and gaming. Okay, we can like enable it for gaming. Um, a lot of cool features. Um, you know, definitely go ahead and look at the, into that. Um, so yes. Okay, so we have configured the router as per this packet tracer. Let's go ahead and do the PC thing. Um, desktop PC wireless. Okay. Click the profiles click new where's new okay that is definitely a weird way to connect to the internet but okay on the next screen click advanced setup infrastructure mode obviously ad hoc is like when it's in between um, at least I remember at least eight devices like it's like you know your computer connects to another computer that computer connects to your computer and the other computer connects to your computer and all of that that's just an ad hoc network um, so click advanced setup then manually enter SSID WRS then click next obtain click next choose obtain network okay yes because we set up the DHCP click next wireless security choose WPA to your personal click next pre-shared key what was the key okay the key was Cisco one two three and da -da -da. Yay, we have successfully connected to the network. Okay, so now if we actually go ahead and do the web browser thing. Oh, well, no, hold on, never mind. We don't have any server to connect to. So let's go ahead and. Um, so let's go ahead and actually click the PC wireless we have the signal strength and link quality on point um, click more information okay as we can see network type is mixed right we have different um, 802.11 um, standards here we have the BG and N right some pretty old um, standards not necessarily new but they still do that you know these days um, not sure um, why the IP address is showing that but we can see that the radio band is 220 megahertz um, pretty good um, infrastructure Y channel no okay so we are on channel one makes sense WP personal just like we configured um, no default gateway that's interesting um, okay all right um, so let's go ahead and actually okay we cannot do let's go 
go ahead and actually um, do IP config. Okay. Let's go ahead and renew and see what is going on. DHCP request failed. Okay. All right. Um, that's interesting. It's it's supposed to DHCP reservation. Okay, there is no clients here actually, which is definitely interesting. I don't know if it's just taking a while to. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Alright, let's go ahead and let's see the HTTP reservation is okay. Alrighty, so yes, that was um, a that was the packet tracer being slow again, and as you can see, we got it connected. This is the MAC address. Okay, um, if we go to what is going on? Okay, all right, so all good news. Um, for some reason, it's stuck. Okay, that is definitely okay. There we go. All right, so if we go back to the command prompt, we can see that. Um, Sorry, yeah, oh, there we go, yes. Um, so we can see that this is our IP address. This is our subnet. Okay, um, this is the 172.41. Hold on, why is that the subnet? Man, come on, man. Save settings. I was about to say, why is that the subnet? Refresh. Let's go ahead and speed it up again. Man, every time this is open, my my thing is literally glitching so badly. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Speed it up. All right, let's go ahead and do the thing again. Um, IP config renew. Okay, all right, cool. IP config. Okay, so all right, this is just taken. Bro, I don't even. I don't want to like say bad words on on YouTube either, honestly, like, I'm not the type of person that cusses a lot, but, ah, oh, man, this is actually annoying. see that we have the sub interfaces here running multiple VLANs it looks like we have 10 20 and 88 so oh, oh okay oh, oh right okay so all of these failed that's interesting that's definitely interesting because according to this we're supposed to have yeah so supposed to set this to 255, 255, 255. Man, what is the difference between like this 255 and this 255? Why are there two? Why are there two? And why the heck maximum number of users? How many?
video I am confused I ain't gonna lie to you guys no clue what is going on here because if this is hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on so this is gonna be the router IP right for one and if this is the subnet mask okay so it's supposed to have addresses from one well from hold up yeah from one to 254 as usable um but i am not sure why it does not have that actually um maybe we should change that change the number ourselves what is going on can someone explain this to me um bruh if the subnet mask i want it at 255 255 2550 like i'm not crazy bro like i know my subnetting like these are going to be the network bits and this is the host bits we have zero so we can literally have 254 hosts but I'm not sure why it doesn't like why it's trying to be dumb and like tell me that oh no well anyways close that let's go ahead um, now we knew we know that okay well we got the 40 and 2 I'm still not sure why it's giving us this subnet mask, but nevertheless, um, let's go. I, I, I'm assuming that it could be, it could have something to do with the packet tracer. I mean, we have followed the thing, um, you know, we see that it was right, so well, let's go ahead and um, just ping. Um, let's see if it's uh, even enabled for uh, well it looks I mean it's a router on a stick so it looks like it so it's enabled for internal view and routing let's go ahead and ping that PC2 yep okay all right that's looking good um, let's go ahead and ping PC oh wait um, PC1 uh, PC1 Okay. Okay, that was looking pretty good. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So that is the packet tracer, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, you can get you can get the file to this packet tracer from um uh this it youtuber also he's doing his he's been doing a lot of packet tracer videos you know for a long time now you can get the um his name is christian um you can get the um uh, the file from his video if you just type in 4422 you can get a file you, you can you can find his video and then you can um, get the file for this packet tracer and yeah alrighty so I hope this was somewhat useful for you guys and I hope that you all enjoyed it and yeah have a good day peace be upon you all and until next time